Hello, garlic mustard. Well, today is messy scene, and after cooking lunch, I decided to come out that Saturday to harvest some garlic mustard to see if I'll be able to remove the leaves off of the stem and pretty much get it ready for the freezer. So I'm going to walk you through my garden to see where I harvest, what I have in front of me here. And they are flowering already. So let's get going. And as you can see, I don't know what size is that bucket, but that's a big bucket. That's a plant, a planter that I purchased to grow uh, food in it when I was in an apartment a few years ago before we moved here. So I still have it. And yeah, that's a big bucket. And I have a lot of garlic mustard in it. And if you don't know garlic mustard, that's a weed. And you can see that it has the white flower. It is in the uh, cabbage family, if I got it right. So they tend to have um, four petals, shall I say? If you see the white, you will see that they have four joined together. So, and it will grow the seeds in this so pretty much it's getting ready to seed and that's a weed that is edible and i record it when it was young and now it is flowering and i harvest it a lot from a space that is about 10 feet uh, 10 feet by, ele uh, by 8 feet or 11 feet by 8 feet when i counted so that's a lot of greens right there. And let me show you where I got them from. And pretty much what I'm going to go I'm going to do is I'm going to sit outside and take the leaves off of the stem, wash them, chop them, put them in a zipper bag name the bag with the name garlic mustard and the date 16 of may 2020 and put it in the freezer i'm not even going to blanch it or anything and i don't know how many gallons i'm going to make out of this so let's check where i harvest them from and i probably show you where i have much more to harvest and I don't know if I'll be able to strip the leaves off of the stem completely but if I get tired of it the rice I'll just chop it up and mulch the garden with it And we are going there, but you can see that here, I have them here. And that's the whole area there. That's garlic mustard. So that's much more to harvest here. And I set the goal today to see if I'll be able to harvest from my garden 24 um, gallon bags of greens for winter. And it's spring, it's not even summer yet, and I already started to harvest and stock up for winter. So pretty much now we eat from the garden, not much from the freezer when it comes to greens that I grow in the garden and so any excess is going in the freezer 
So we have another batch here. Angelic, what do you want to tell me? Um, Daddy asked Don Coach for something to do on that side um, by the stick things. She was climbing. What it. is the problem? Um, she got poked by the thorn of a, um, of something. a stick. No, a stick. Then she starts bleeding. Gabrielle, go rinse it in the sink. I told her to. Did you hear me? Rinse it. Then she wiped on Yeah, the Gabrielle, Angelique, were you supposed to go all the way there to play? No. Good. Now don't go there. There are so many things around there. You don't want to get yourself into it. So don't get yourself in into those things, okay? So we are still going. Uh, Angelic, could you make sure you close the garden? Bunny doesn't get in. Thank you. And that's where I have it from. Well, it's 10 by 8, this small space here. You can see I have the fence here, have the fence there, and I have a fence here. So, and the next fence is pretty much where, where you can see the green post. So that's a fairly small space there. And I have two elderberry here, berry tree here growing. And I planted them for medicinal purposes. They are very good for um, natural corn syr uh, cough syrup. So I like to make those medicinal uh, natural medicines for winter time for the kids. So I have now made cough syrup using elderberry. I have made it using onion and honey but I have not done this yet. What I like to do is I'll harvest the seeds and I'll put in the freezer until I have enough to make um, to make it. So here I have a lot of garlic mustard growing and I have been harvesting some to cook and I said, well, I can just come out because you know, the clock is ticking. They are flowering and pretty soon they are going to seeds. So I came and I harvest them, but you'll see that I left the, I didn't harvest it all the way to the ground. I have some stem left. So the goal is, well, if they want to grow back, they can grow back. So that'll be more leaves for me to harvest. And I like to use it like how you use spinach in cooking. And I will use it in salad as well, eating it raw. And you can see that I still have some left here, but that's pretty much where they came from, that big container of garlic mustard came from, this small space. I just want to clear the area so that uh, some sun can come here for uh, the elderberry and some other things that I have in the garden here, like my garlics and you can see them here let me show you that's i have some flowers here this is not garlic that's a flower i don't know what kind of flower it is but that's flower and that's garlic here so you can see them they have been here for at least two years in a row if not more so i know for sure that they are three they have been here three two to three years without me harvesting them and replanting them and you can see them how they are clustered here so that tells you that i didn't plant them they came back from last year and i live in zone five eight so you can see how they are growing together is because it, the, there is a clove in the ground that break apart and they are all growing. So that's one, two, three, four, five plant together here. And you can see that I have some baby ones as well. And the reason why I have babies is because I have hard neck garlics. And hard neck garlics, they grow bubbles. 
if I will call them like that. And those are the baby's ones. And they grow those small seeds on top that will fall back down and grow. And they take two years um, to to be a clove you can peel apart. If, like, if they are, that's their first year, the way they are looking, because they fell la last summer or fall and grew, and yeah, and they are growing. So this year, if I harvest them, the back will be just one bulb, like, yeah, one together. And then, if it's in the ground or I have planted, it will come back next year and will be a bigger bulb but in pieces that I could I will be able to break into clo clo uh, cloves. So that's that. So I have a lot of garlic here and I probably planted them I don't know I'm not going to guess the year but yeah they have been here for a while. Even before I introduce sun chokes here. And I do have sun chokes here. That's why you have, you can see those things here. So I'm not seeing them growing here. Oh yeah, they are growing here already. That's that. I can show it. That's this. That's Jerusalem chokes or sun chokes. So there are plenty here in the ground. That's why you can see those things. I just chop them up to have room. And they like to take over. But yes, garlic mustard, Jerusalem artichokes. They are pretty much trying to dominate this small space. And that's here as well. Some chokes. So and the garlic bread try to be a little bit on this side. Those are garlic's breads. Uh, I say garlic's bread, sorry, garlic's. So regular garlic's. And then I have the garlic mustard, which is this one here. The garlic's that we all know, which are those. And yeah, that's how I clean up this area pretty much. Of my garlic mustard. But let me show you what area I have. I'll show you where I have them already. I'll show you the big patch that I have right at the start of my garden. And that's food right there because it's edible. That's food. So I will try to harvest as much off of the stem and bag them up. I have my blackberry patch here and they are there as well. I had to come back here to because they, they, they are not coming back. They should come back this year because they are last year growth. But I'm not seeing them leafing yet. So I'll wait a little bit and then I'll come and harvest those brown. And for those, when I harvest them, they are good for barbecues so i can make my own barbecue woods from my fruit trees and yeah that i have in the garden so that's how my garlic mustard is taking over and i have them here as well so i need to get to them before they start seeding so that i can minimize the number I can reduce the number of seeds that will fall down otherwise 
they will come back next year even more because birds like to spread them to help me out. So that's that. I didn't have to plant them. They are just weird that a lot of times we like to fight. But the best way I fight them is eating them or mulching my garden. So when I'm tired of harvesting them, that's what I will do. I'll just mulch the garden. I might probably record something to show you how I'll mulch my garden with my weed. Thank you for watching. I'm Afia Vio Junior Lieberman, creators of Lieberman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap. And our website is ninasoap.com.